Make your bottles pretty. I'm Greg. I'm Julie, and we're the Crafty Winers. So we have in several videos shown you how to put corks in bottles and how to put stoppers on champagne type bottles and wire cages and so forth, but we haven't really gone over how to make your bottles look as good as they can to give them away as gifts or even if just to store them. And it's about that time. Yourself. And yes, <laughs> we are going to be spending a lot of time here in the near future on gift ideas for Christmas and holiday ideas for Thanksgiving and whatever. And to do those things, you need to know how to make your bottles look as professional as possible. So here we are. <laughs> so here we are. What is in these bottles? This is a strawberry wine. And this is a, I'm sorry. This is a blackberry wine. And that's the strawberry. This is a strawberry wine. And I just tasted this one and it's really good. These are actually two of my probably top 10 ones. And what's odd is that these started off as really nasty alcohol tasting wines when they were first done. Yeah, they were but bad. After they sat for a couple of months, these were both honestly in my top 10. And they're not sweet at all, they're dry. This tastes like blackberry. This tastes like strawberry. They're both very flavorful and they're very good. They were made out of puree. And the puree is pretty expensive, but I'll go ahead and link it from Amazon. And I don't have enough to make another batch, which is kind of the sad thing, but we'll keep using the puree for flavorings for ciders and lemonades or whatever. But I, I'm going to probably have to buy more because you haven't gotten this strength of flavor from using real fruit before. Something about the puree came out better than what we would normally get from, from frozen fruit. So, I think they are, I mean, you say they're not sweet, but they, because of the fruit, they have a sweet note to them. Yeah, they're not like they're not, sickeningly sweet, not like, like a lemonade. Stella Rossi or something. Yeah, it's not a cider or lemonade sweet. It's more like a dry wine, but there's just the, the right level of sweetness is yeah. maybe how I should yeah. say it. It's really it's good. It's really good. So we're putting away, we only ended up with three bottles, unfortunately, yield out of these, partly because the puree leaves a lot of sediment. Mm. So we lost some juice to the sediment, and then we did do quite a few tastings on this while we were trying to get it right. So we lost some to that too. So there are only three bottles in existence of each one of these, and they're going to get labeled and put away as a special occasion. And we wines. thought they were a lost cause. I, I honestly, I didn't think that they were going to come out of it. It was like, it tasted like strawberry juice with vodka. Mm -hmm. It was a very strong alcohol taste. And I didn't think that that was going to tame. But, but it really, it only took about a month and a half of sitting. And it's it's amazing. So enough about that. Because we're talking about bottles. I'm going to put on some labels. So Julie is the label putter on her. That's a thing? That is a thing. That's a That's, label? I need a hat. For you. A label put her on her. She's very good at it. Well, I'm, oh, these, now that you said that, that's not These good. labels are somewhat new to us. We're yeah, using Avery 5524 labels. We've used a lot of labels over the years, but these are my favorite right now because these are more water resistant. So a lot of times the cider, lemonades, the white wines that go in the fridge, after the label had been on for you know a couple of weeks in the fridge, the condensation would make them run and look like crap and wrinkle and wrinkle. And these, these do that less. That. They they say that they're water. It's got a waterproof film. These are also laser printer. These are designed for laser printer. They have one that is almost exactly the same label that is designed for inkjet. So I will link that in the description below. I don't have those because we don't use our inkjet anymore. We use a laser printer for our labels right now. So the way I do this is try to get it as straight as possible and in the right location. And that depends on where you want it. I like it kind of in the middle. And then I put the top on first and the bottom and smooth that out. And then I do that so that it doesn't get wrinkly. See, she's a pro. So. So that came out really good. Now. The labels can be, there There are six labels to a page, and I had three bottles of this and three bottles of this, so I just split my label and printed three of each label. You can do this, the orientation can be portrait like this, or it can be landscape, and you could design your label to work 
with it wider. Mm -hmm. The thing about the tall label, rather than being a landscape, is that it works well with the beer bottles too. Yeah. So, and I don't mind that. I like kind of being able to see the whole label without having to twist the bottle. So I, I like it too. I'm kind of partial to this now. Although in the past we've done wider labels that were not as tall. I stick the other one on there. You do have to have some computer skills. The, the template you can download from Avery's site. You just type in their label number, and I'll link that for you. But you know, you're going to have, have some design skills in Word, and then you have to have a little bit of computer skill to copy and paste one label to each of the other cells so that you can get six of them printed. And I can't give you a whole lot of advice on that on this video. It does take some patience because Word is a little glitchy and it's very particular. So it, it can be... I've, I've had a lot of frustrating hours myself, and I work on computers. I've worked on computers for 35 years. Once you get the template set, it's not bad. So we have four more labels, and we have four more bottles that we'll do off camera. But that's why we have the labels, is because we're going to put them on the other bottles. So the next step, pretty much the last step, I mean, there, there's nothing to keep you from doing a back label, too. If you want to yeah, have more can. information about the wine... A lot of people put the ABV on their wine. I don't. Probably should. It probably adds a little level of professionalism, but I don't do that. These are PVC shrink wrap caps. And we'll show you how those go on. For the wine bottle, that's the last thing that we're going to do. And then we're going to bring out champagne and beer and show you the differences. So Pippin especially turns into a freak when the hairdryer comes out. You're such a freak. Pippin was the original freak and no Nori. She doesn't usually do that. Nori's turning into a freak. She's copying her sister. Okay. Okay. I'm done with that. Really? That's all there is to it. It's easy. So here's a beer one. They do wrinkle a little bit because of the curves of the beer. But Julie does a great job on those as well, and it's not its not bad to have a little bit of a wrinkle there. <laughs> if you it, wanted to do it landscape, it probably, it would, probably would fit better. Fit better, but... Part of it with us is wanting to have the big corgi dogs on there. <laughs> and if it was landscape, it'd have to be quite a bit smaller. The, here's a champagne one. This is one that we personalized for our son's wedding. So it's got their picture on it and information about the wedding. This, what, this is Moscato? Mm -hmm. Yeah, sparkling Moscato. Naturally carbonated sparkling Moscato. So we went over the cages and the uh, sparkling wine stopper in our carbonation video, bottling carbonated beverages. You can find it in the description below. And then this is a foil cap for this style of bottle that fits over the cage. And then you just form it to the bottle. There's a little bit of an art to it that maybe I don't. You know what? They don't look... They look like that from the store, too. They, they're crinkly. So this looks fairly professional. I like it. Looks good. And that's pretty much all we wanted to show you, I think, was just how to make them look professional. Again, you could put a back label on it if you want. We don't spend the time on that. It's going to obviously double the cost of the labels. The labels are actually not bad priced. I was surprised at how cheap they are. And if you buy more, the more you buy, the bigger package you get, the cheaper they are per label. I've gone through a lot of labels. I've used some Chinese ones that didn't work well with printers here because they were all in metric. And I've used the uh, UPS labels. I've used other things. These, even though they might cost a little bit more, do hold up better to moisture. They're easier they're to put on than some of the ones we had, too. Yeah, they're, they're, they're very sticky. They stay on. So this is what we're using now. If you have better ideas, if you found something that works better for you, put it in the comments below. I'd like to hear about it. We'll show you a couple of ways to present the bottles once you have the bottles looking professional. So these are a couple of gift baskets I put together, and I have not figured out who the lucky recipient is going to be yet, but somebody's mm. going to get these. <laughs> so these not remind anybody else of Yogi Bear? Well, this one, because of the picnic basket. Yes. <laughs> Actually, I do know who this one's going to, because 
it already has their picture on it. So this is the one we just did with the foil for um, our son. Truth be told, this is a duplicate of that one. This was our test bottle. They already have received their yes. wedding present. And they also got some hand etched glasses with monograms on them. So she's got... These are actually uh, Christmas ones. So this has peace on it and it's got a little snowflake and reindeer. Trying to show that there is stuffing in here. Oh yes, bedding. this stuff is fun too. When it comes out, it gets everywhere, but it looks really cool. This is a nice professional looking gift package. And we are today, right after we get done filming this episode, we are filming an episode on why to give wine, cider, hard lemonade, whatever, as gifts. It'll be like a top 10 type format, although there's quite a few more than 10 reasons. But these have been prepared for that video, so I'll link that video above so that you can watch it as well. So these are our, um, this is actually apricot cider that we did the labels for, and then a couple of hand painted glasses that I did. So these are Makes great. A real way, nice gift. Great way to present your wine. I mean, even not as gifts, if you just wanted to stick these on your mantle, and they look very professional in my opinion. I really like this basket too. So we're going to clear those off and we'll show you the last gift box idea. So everything that we're showing you today will be linked in the description below. Links to Amazon in most cases, or maybe all cases. So this is a wine gift box, believe it or not. It's pretty cool. You take the adhesive sticker paper covering off, and then that'll make that stick together. And then it's got a magnetic clasp and it's fairly fairly presentable and not too expensive and you don't pay much for shipping because it gets completely flat so <laughs> this is this is one option and we probably will give a few of these away this year people that deserve something more than just a you know a bottle that looks professional will get a case to put the professional and bottle. then the really special ones get the basket yeah, or <laughs> or that or this and this is, this is fairly classy you know this is a little bit more it's probably three times the cost of this one. Still not bad. I mean, for I think for what our budget is usually for a present, it's not out of range. But if you open this, this has a foil cutter, a decanter, a bottle stopper, and a corkscrew in the lid. It's pretty cool. And then when you open it, it's got like a, I don't know, silk looking area for the bottle to go into. Satin. It feels... Satin. Feels like satin a little bit. It's fancy. And it's kind of slotted for a bottle. So yeah, this is very fancy. And it's not as expensive as you'd think. I'm not supposed to say prices being an Amazon affiliate because they change their prices often. But but you can look. <laughs> look in the description below. You'll see a link to this. And I was pleasantly surprised at how inexpensive they are for what you get. So that's it. Good ways, in our opinion, ideas to sh present your bottles of wine or cider or hard lemonade or mead or whatever it is that you're making as professionally as possible. So if you have other ideas for ways to also improve on what we're doing, tell us in the comment section below and we'd appreciate that. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. If you have subscribed already, we appreciate you. Thank you very much. And until next time, cheers.